as you allude to, he is actually, we've, we've talked about this for a couple other prospects. He's actually six foot five and three quarters without shoes, uh, six foot seven and three quarters with, but he also okay. has a six foot eight wingspan. Uh, okay. But kind of to your point, when you go and look at the video, you know, we, we're looking at numbers, we're looking at all this different stuff. But when you look at the video, like you said, the frame is there. He passes the eye test, too. So it's not just some of these good numbers and you're putting in the proper context. But if you look at these videos, there's a lot to be excited about, too, when you just actually look at his game. Yeah, I, most definitely, man. I, um, I think worst case scenario, he's a three and D guy. You know, the game now is, okay, running running three-point shooters off the line. And he's athletic and long enough to fly around and, you know, be good with his defensive rotations, get teams to shoot a lower three-point percentage and run, run down on the other end and, and sh- shoot open threes and attack and transition, catch and finish, finish at the rim, jump up, dunk. He's mean on the, he's mean on the rim. He's got a little, he's got a little mean side to him, man. I, um, I'm interested to, this is random. I'm interested to see who his old head is. Like, I'm interested to see who, who the Italian guy he looks up to or he came up under that kind of had him. Like, I, I, I need mm. to do, I want to see who, who raised him. Cause I, I, I think he must have some American OG somewhere. Like he, maybe not, not just this year. I'm talking about when he was playing younger, there was that's I promise you there's some black dude who was there somewhere that took him around and you know took him to the restaurants and busted his balls every day and practice and kind of you know shot the you know talk crap to him but at the same time took him in and gave him some tips and that he probably looked up to and he got some of his swag from. It's a good point. That, he's got American swag. It, you know, a lot, a lot. What people don't understand about a lot of those European players, and it's not trying to take anything away from them, but a lot of those European players, they grow up in the program in the club, and it's always an American playing on a pro team, the senior team in the club. So they're around them all the time, you know. So they, you, you, you those kids have American um, idols. American role models. They'll have Italian ones too, for sure. They'll have Italian ones too, for sure. Don't don't doubt that. But somewhere there's a there's there's a there's a American guy with swag that he got he got some of his swag from. The way he's dunking the ball, he dunks the ball like he's Nigerian. You know, the two hand two foot monkey swing he did on on the rim. I said, okay. I said, all right now. Nah. He's bouncy too, man. He's bouncy. oh yeah, yeah. And then I heard he I heard he um. He won a three quarter sprints at the combine. Now, I think he was the fastest in the three quarter sprints. Which, I mean, what do you do with that? Man? You got a kid at six five to six seven, running the crap off the floor. You know, catching. You know, can catch lobs in transition. Can knock down shots. Worst case scenario is a three and D guy. Worst case, you know, worst case. So right now, Shane Lawal is the president and CEO of the Gabriel Presida Fan Club, uh, the Sorry, American no. edition. All right, sign me up for the Italian edition too. I'm signing <laughs> for both of them. Sign me up for both of them. I like the kid, man. I think I don't have a problem with him not being a first round pick. I'm fine with him being a second round pick. I actually think he should stash for a year. I think he should. If I was him, I would come back to Italy. I would I would bargain my draft pick, play one year, play with the ball more in my hands, play with the path laid out for me more, maybe even play on a better team, which I'm sure there's a buyout. Probably have to pay Bologna to get him. Probably a mean buyout, a couple million or something like that. I would just play, get better. And then I will come over the next year once I figure some things out. So that way my first year is more successful. I will stash if I'm, if I'm, uh, especially if I'm a second round pick, I'm definitely going to stash. I'm going to go, go back home, chill, take one more year to figure out basketball. But we don't know exactly what's going to go on here, too, because as we've been recording, we've been seeing Jovic kind of slide down gradually, not out of the first round. But, you know, like I said earlier, that, you know, there's a draft uh, mock draft that has him as high as 40. Uh, You know, somebody could like him more than that. He could potentially slide into the first round. He was somebody that supposedly flirted with the NBA draft last year. So he might be might be ready to come. Uh, I hear what you're saying and, maybe, and why maybe. that might be the maybe. case. Maybe Jovich is Jovis jumps out at you more for just he's carries more of a bang 
But um, Procida has more of a complete game. I like. I think Procida is more NBA ready, meaning he has less flaws to fix. So it's more possible to leave him in the game because he he has less weaknesses. So I mean, he doesn't he doesn't sh- you know he doesn't shoot it as well as Jovic on paper or you know in sight. But I mean, I I'm, I would. I would seek. I would sneakily and secretly get proceed in the second round, and I'll bring him in for a couple of workouts if I feel like. Well, I don't know if we we have space for him right now. I would stash him. I would stash that kid. Let him go get better. Let him get his confidence up, and then bring him back when he's ready to play. When he's ready to play better, you know, when he's a little bit better offensively, you know. But he's a three and D guy at worst case scenario. Hello, and thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like, and you can watch more videos over here. Uh, You can also click subscribe over here so you're notified when we have new content here on Expat Hoops.